the State of Israel in its history has achieved some incredible things. It has become a leading economy in the world, famous as a startup nation. Its population has gone from 600,000 to 8 million people, and it's produced in its 66 year history 12 Nobel Prize winners. However, the author, Yossi Klein Halevi, points out that the most enduring image from Israel's 66 year history is not an image of a Nobel Prize winner, it's not an, Israel of not an image of economic success, but it's the picture taken right over here at the Kotel. The day that San Hanim, the paratroopers, came in the Six Day War and conquered the old city and regained the holy sites, the picture of the three paratroopers standing here under the wall is the most enduring image from Israel's short history. And he points out that the symbolism of that image was that you had a group of young, strong, talented people who had just achieved one of the greatest military victories in, in modern history. And what the, the image on their face, what you could see on their faces was the sense of being overwhelmed by the moment of history. But they were not thinking about the military victory. They were just standing by this wall, thinking about the weight of Jewish history, the sense of being part of something bigger than yourself, the sense of connecting to a 2,000 year history, something you couldn't really fully comprehend, that sense of awe, of wonderment of what had happened, that is what's captured in the image and that is the most enduring image in Israel's history. Rob Soloveitchik points out, develops this idea in the context of Tzitzis in this week's parasha. Tzitzis has the white strings and the strings that are treles. Rosanovechik explains that white symbolizes, both in Flemish and in Gomorrah, white symbolizes what we understand, what is clear, what we can comprehend. Whereas Tcheles, the Gomorrah says, Tcheles is Dome la Yam, Dome la Rakia. Tcheles is similar to the sea, similar to the sky. Tcheles symbolizes what is beyond, what is above, what is beyond what we can comprehend. And that idea is especially significant in the modern world and we understand so much and Hashem has allowed us to understand so much of as well as science and technology. We understand and control now so much of the modern world. And the message of Tcheles is to see those things that are above, those things that go beyond, to be able to connect to those moments, to those experiences, to those points in our history, those points in our life which go beyond which where we are rather than understanding what a college world is doing. We are overwhelmed. We have a sense of awe in being in the presence of something that is above what we can fully comprehend. Shabbat shalom.